Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Stargirl. This is going to be my trailer breakdown for episode 9 for this season, otherwise entitled Brainwave. But of course, before we get into anything else, let's actually watch that trailer. Right now, we need every advantage we can get. We need Henry. She thinks your soul is worth saving. I know it isn't. Deep down, you want to do the right thing. Get out of here. So last episode was obviously the, uh, not the wrap up, I guess you could say, but the, uh, just the conclusion to the Shiv focus story with Shiv part two. But one of the big things that played out throughout the episode was the development of Henry King Jr. Him just struggling with his, uh, well, what was going on with him, head pains, everything like that. And all of a sudden he's sort of figuring out his telekinetic ability and then finding his father's uh, well, secret closet, I guess you could say, which uh, we're going to delve into in this trailer breakdown and will be delved into in this upcoming episode. But um, yeah, he, uh, he he's able to find some information he uh, was uh, not aware of before. Obviously, that including some stuff with Cindy, which leads to him encountering Cindy, learning what's going on there, learning that Courtney is Stargirl. There's a lot of just mic, you know, mic drop moments at the end of the episode. But obviously, in regards to the Cindy stuff or the Shiv stuff, we did have, uh, you know, the new JSA entering Cindy's house, finding out some stuff in regards to her being connected to Dr. Shiro Ito, who Pat is aware of. So I'm sure we might see some uh, development with that as well in this episode. And uh, also, Dragon King knows that Henry actually has powers. Yep, so Cindy was wrong uh, in regards to that as well. But of course, before we jump into uh, the breakdown of the trailer and some other stuff, we will quickly go over the synopsis or description for the episode, as it does give us a bit more context as to what's going on. But of course, throughout the video and just the trailer breakdown, it would be awesome if you could let me know your various opinions on the uh, trailer, what gets you excited for next episode, was uh, one thing you're looking forward to most from it. Let me know all those uh, thoughts, theories, anything like that in the comments section down below. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video and you're just enjoying Stargirl as a show, why not drop a like on the video to show your support for the channel and yeah, the Stargirl stuff. Tensions rise among the JSA members after Courtney suggests who she wants to recruit next to the team. Meanwhile, Barbara invites Jordan and his family over for dinner and Henry Jr. makes a surprising discovery about his father. But um, yeah, we do start off the trailer by having Corny just telling the team that they need every advantage that they can get. You know, the, the, the battle or the fight for Blue Valley or in Blue Valley is definitely heating up. The temperature knob is being, well, it's being turned to max temperature, I think. But I do wonder if anything happens early in this episode, like you know, like the first like five minutes, for example, that leads Corny to push the others towards needing another member. Maybe she has a run in with one of the other uh, ISA members or something along those lines, or Pat tells Courtney about something that she, uh, that he learned. And it's like, well, holy crap, this person's involved. We have to really move ahead. So maybe something like that happens early on in the episode, which pushes everything forward quickly and why they need, uh, need another member. So that'll be interesting to see in like the opening, I guess five minutes of the episode, if that's going to happen. But of course, who is that new member that Courtney is pushing to recruit? Well, of, uh, well, shouldn't be too much of a surprise, but of course, as we hear in the trailer, it's Henry King Jr. Now, the synopsis does talk about tensions in the group due to this, and it's for obvious reasons, the main being Yolanda. I mean, we all, we all know there's going to be tension there regardless. Now, I do wonder if something pushes Corny to realizing that they need Henry specifically because of his powers, or Courtney just wants him because he has powers in general. Just like, well, hold on, he's got powers, so he's useful, let's just get him. Or maybe they could, uh, she might be bringing him in to keep him, uh, keep him away from the ISA as well. So it's like, well, we need help fighting the ISA. However, if we don't get Henry, then he could actually become a part of the ISA at the same time. So we're sort of killing two birds with one stone if we are, uh, or at least injuring another bird while killing the other bird by just bringing in Henry. So that could be a reason behind it. I do have a feeling that the, the battle for Henry, if you want to call it, I, I know, are we going to call it the battle for Henry? Um, could be a thing this episode between the JSA and the ISA or Injustice Society, because as we know, you know, Dragon King knows about the powers, you know, wants to, would most likely want to bring him in. So I think we might see a bit of a confrontation in regards to that, or 
the ISA might just sit back and wait and see how it goes and let Henry develop his powers more and then go for him later on. Maybe that's what they're, they're just waiting and sitting back and waiting for it all to play out. That could be maybe what they're doing. Maybe that's their strategy, which isn't that dumb of a strategy. It could work. We'll have to wait and see how it plays out in the episode. Now, we do get to see Henry using his powers, which is fairly cool. He has all this stuff floating around his head, and he's looking to be having uh, one hell of a time. Looks to be having a lot of fun. Now, if you do look at the TV screen, it is hard to tell because it isn't the best angle, but it does look like it is, is, it does look like it's his dad with longer hair. Now, he has the tapes from his dad's like secret closet, as I was calling it before. Some of them are flowing, uh, floating around his head. Some of them are on the TV stand. There's a VCR player there as well. Obviously, in that secret clause that we know that the tape said like day one, day two, day three, etc., etc., etc. Now, I guess the big question is whether they're specifically made for Henry uh, Jr. to follow or were they Henry King Sr.'s progress tapes from when he started to develop his powers and everything like that, that Henry is also able to follow because he's pretty much got the same power set. That will be interesting. The footage on the screen looks to be fairly old, like a couple of decades old, so I'd be leaning towards that they're just... Henry Sr.'s progress tapes, because I guess this will be his progress tapes from before Henry uh, Jr. was born. So it makes sense that that'd be his progress tapes and Henry Jr.'s is following them and they're working for him. However, it's important to remember, Henry Sr. ended up being a villain. So let's hope the tapes don't lead Henry Jr. down the same route. Now, obviously the episode title is Brainwave. It's not Brainwave Jr. That's episode 10. This episode is just called Brainwave. But will Brainwave wake up in the episode called Brainwave or will he still be comatose and just feature in things like these tapes and maybe like a flashback at the beginning, at the beginning of the episode or some point in the episode? I don't know. I really wouldn't be able to tell you that because nothing in the promo images or the trailer suggests that Brainwave wakes up. Maybe he wakes up right at the end and that leads into the next episode or he's completely comatose the entire episode. In the comics, from memory, and I think I mentioned this in my review, I should have looked it up to be completely honest, but let's just go with the flow right now. Um, like when Brainwave dies, that's when Brainwave Jr.'s powers reach full potential. So I do wonder if Henry King Sr. dies in this episode. So Brainwave just dies, they pull the plug, turn off life support, and he goes. And that's what pushes Henry King Jr. to having his full powers, full power level, full potential. I am curious whether to see that whether to see if that happens or not. Because I think it's a big possibility. Not saying it will happen, but it wouldn't surprise me at the same time if it happened. So maybe keep that in mind. She thinks your soul is worth saving. I know it isn't. Now, this is, of course, Yolanda to Henry in the hospital room. I guess the big question with Yolanda is, will she be the cause of Henry maybe going bad this episode, or at least not wanting to join the JSA, um, and maybe giving into the Injustice Society? You know, with the episode to follow this one, having him, like, turn back to the side of good, uh, or something along those lines, because it is Brainwave Jr., the episode to follow, so maybe that's when he goes good, and this episode is the episode he goes bad. Now, I think we can all understand why Yolanda would be against this, and I think... I think she'll probably get over it by this episode or at least be willing to let Henry in if it's for the good of the team or at least in regards to saving Blue Valley and stopping the Injustice Society. But I think we can all understand why Yolanda would be against Henry. Like if what had happened to Yolanda had happened to any of us um, and Henry was that person who was the cause of it um, or at least played a part in it, you, you, would, you, know, you think they would, they would have blame. I think we'd all be acting like Yolanda. We wouldn't want them to be involved in anything we're doing. So I think we can all understand where Yolanda's coming from there. But the final thing in the trailer to really focus on is deep down, you want to do the right thing. Now, this is Corny talking to Henry, and it seems that this is going to be the thing that sets Henry off, like making him angry, which with his powers and his like inexperience, let's be completely honest at this moment, probably isn't going to end very well. And it seems it is hurting Cor Corny from what uh, Henry's doing. You know, a reckless Henry, just a ruthless Henry would be a pretty damn dangerous Henry. We've seen that Brainwave's powerful, so... Like, and, you know, he's fairly in control. He's just evil. So imagine just someone who's got the powers and is just off the chain, just not really got no self-control. That would be, you know, that would be, and they would be just very lethal. 
But yeah, there is actually a bunch of promo images. There's a lot here. There's like 12, but a lot of them are in like the same area. So we're just going to quickly go over them. So the first couple are of um, the, the new JSA in the gym where Yolanda does her boxing. And I think this is pretty obvious. This is where Corny comes in and goes, yo, I think we should bring in Henry because Yolanda just looks disgusted at whatever Corny said. Even Rick's concerned. I think Beth's the only one. Actually, Beth sort of does look concerned at the same time, but probably the least concerned because I think she probably understands where Courtney's coming from in regards to all of this. But I think that's sort of obvious what's happening there, that she's bringing up, bringing in Henry to the group. So uh, yeah, the next one is actually um, in the Dugan household or the Dugan Whitmore household where we have Pat, um, Barbara and Courtney. Now, obviously the synopsis does talk about um, Jordan Marquand and his son, well, it doesn't say, I don't think it says his son, but Cameron's going to be coming to dinner as well. This seems to be the preparation for the dinner. I wonder how that's going to go. Will it be icy? Um, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, it will be interesting to see if they get any sort of hint that Jordan is Icicle, or if Icicle gets any Icicle gets any sort of hint that Courtney is Stargirl. That could be a very tense dinner scene. It could almost be very much like, um, what's the scene? Like that spot from the first Spider-Man scene, like the Thanksgiving dinner and Green Goblin and Spider-Man there together could be very similar to that. So yeah, that could be one, uh, frosty reception. I'm going to start with the ice puns. Let's stop with it. Let's stop. Let's move on. We do see Barbara here in the basement. This is an important thing because obviously some of the JSA stuff is down here. So I am curious whether this is a scene with Pat coming cl uh, clean to Barbara about something or just the JSA stuff in general, maybe showing her the trunk, maybe even showing her the cosmic stuff, something along those lines. It'll be interesting. I can't see them holding off Barbara too much longer because she's already like extremely suspicious. So this could be the episode where the beans are spilled or maybe it's episode 10, the following episode, but I don't think we can keep Barbara in the dark too much longer. I think she's going to have to eventually find out. And we do have two pictures here with, um, well, the first one's Corny in encountering Henry Jr. in the, the hospital room. Obviously, he doesn't look very happy to see her there. Obviously, last episode, he slammed the door on her. I was like, uh, hello, eavesdropping. Give me some privacy. So, slammed the door on her. So, he's probably like, you're here again? What the hell? But the next one is just him sort of looking at his father. Once again, he's probably struggling with his abilities. This could be after he's found those tapes. Um, I am wondering if we are going to get something where maybe he can communicate, uh, he can communicate with his father because he's in sort of in sync with his powers a bit here. So I wonder if he can actually communicate with his dad here. That would be interesting. Um, but maybe that might be a, a, a step too far, but we'll have to wait and see that could happen in the episode, but obviously he doesn't look very happy there. It looks pretty sad. And the last primary image is just, uh, Rick, Beth and Pat in the, I guess you could say the new JSA HQ, AKA Pat's workshop. Uh, he does have some books out there. I think it's World War II stuff. I haven't, I, you can't really see it. Like I'm, you wouldn't be able to zoom in and have a look properly, but it wouldn't surprise me if he's researching Dr. Shiro Ito, maybe, even though the big thing has to come up is like, well, hold on, Beth's got the goggles, maybe, but maybe Beth's goggles don't have the information that could be there. Maybe that's JSA files that he's going through. But then again, Beth's goggles are connected to the JSA mainframe and the database so they should have it but maybe pat wants to do stuff manually he wants to do it old school he wants to bring out the books we're not using the internet this time let him do it his way so maybe that's why he's bringing it out and maybe he's told beth to keep the goggles in the bag but yeah guys that's pretty much all to go over if you enjoyed the video it would be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show support let me know in the comment section down below what are you looking forward to most uh from this episode do you have anything that i didn't bring up in the you know trailer to you know point out let me know in the comments in regards to that as well Thoughts, theories, all that, leave, it down, uh, leave them down there. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>